All right, so the plank. The plank is like the press up. Everyone messes, the, messes it up. Um, your back sags. Um, you don't get your hips high enough. You're not holding position. You're relaxing. Your bum's relaxed. You're, you're not really bracing. You're just, you know, it's definitely not working for you. So with all the planks, you want to add some dynamic movement to it. What that will do is we find the neutral position, we brace the neutral position, and then we look to try and destabilize that neutral position, but if we stay stable while doing it, okay? So I'll just go through a few progressions that you can do to up your, up your plank game. It's a great exercise, but just don't do it in a static position. So we'll do a full plank. So hands under shoulders, knee, okay? Feet just outside shoulder width, great a base of support. Scat press, okay, so spread those shoulder blades. Now, find that neutral position by tucking your hips, okay? Draw your belly button into your spine, yep. So from here, I'm gonna inhale, and then raise one leg up, exhale down. Doesn't have to raise it up too far, yeah. Then from there, I'm gonna raise my arms up. So the next level from the feet is the arms. Again, don't let those hips move. Imagine you've got a bowl of water on your back. Then from there, opposite arm and leg. Okay, nice. Then if you want from there, you can actually bring elbow to knee. Try and minimize that hip movement and then joint taps as well. Again, really squeeze that core so the hips aren't moving. Yep. So we've got wrist, elbow, shoulder, hips, knees, and then feet. All the movement is from that lower ab position, okay? And then you can come back to neutral.